from the top of the mat. Inhale, bring the arms above the head, gaze between the hands. Exhale as you swan dive towards the mat, keeping the chest open and the shoulders down, hands to the mat, dropping the head. Inhale, flattening the spine. Exhale, stepping back into plank. Elbows in, coming down to the mat, Chaturanga Dandasana, releasing the toes. Inhale, up a dog or cobra. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, raising that right leg up, keeping those hips nice and square. I don't want you to open the hips, I want you to keep them square to the mat. Flexing the foot, flexing the toes as high as you can using your glutes. Exhale as you bring that knee into the chest. Hold it there for a few breaths, drawing that navel up towards the spine. Breathe. Place that foot between the hands. Use your hand to bring your foot forward if you need to. Stay up on those back toes. As we come up into a nice high crescent lunge, bringing the arms above the head, alongside the ears, palms facing each other, and sitting down into that nice high lunge. So we're feeling a lovely stretch here along the flexors of your left leg. Drawing that belly button back towards the spine so that we don't put any pressure on that lower back. If you like, you can link your thumbs so that the palms face forward, rolling those shoulders back. And now exhaling, bringing the knee down towards the floor and coming back up. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, bringing the hands back down to the mat. Bring that right foot back to meet the left. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Release, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. This timing, inhaling, bringing that left leg up towards the sky, keeping those hips squared. Really engaging your left glute, holding that core nice and tight. Exhale, bring that knee towards the chest, pulling that navel in. And then placing that foot between the hands again, using your hand to bring that foot forward if you need to. Stabilizing yourself and then coming up into a nice high crescent lunge. Hands facing each other, shoulders down. Again, just holding this for a little Again, holding this pose for a few breaths and feeling that nice stretch here along these flexors. If you like, you can link the thumbs again so that the palms are facing forward. And then drop that knee down towards the mat. Controlled. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, hands down towards the mat. Bring that left foot back to meet the right foot. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up a dog or cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. Gaze up between the hands, walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, flatten the spine. Exhale, fold, squeeze the glutes. Inhale to standing, exhaling in prayer. Inhaling, arms above the head, shoulders down. Exhaling, swan diving forward, keeping those shoulders back, dropping the head. Inhale, flattening the spine. Exhale, stepping back into plank, chaturanga. Elbows in, chest to the floor first. Inhale, up a dog or cobra. Exhale, rolling back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky, flexing the foot. Exhale, knee to the chest. Hold it just there for a few moments and place that foot between the hands. So we're gonna stay in this nice low lunge, stay up on those toes at the back, and the leg that's extended is nice and straight. So keeping the hips where they are, bringing the torso up, and cross or length of fingers, and rest the hands on the thigh for some support. 
breathe. And then inhaling, same thing, knee towards the floor, exhaling. Release the hands and bring the, them down to the mat either side of the foot. And bring that right foot back to meet the left. Exhale, Chaturanga. Release. Inhale, up for dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Let's inhale that left leg up to the sky. Foot flexed. Leg nice and straight. Exhale, knee to the chest. Hold it there. Place that foot between the hands. Nice low lunge. Try and keep your hips down and your back leg nice and straight. So bringing the torso up again, linking those hands and just supporting yourself on your thigh. Inhale, knee to the mat, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Release the hands, bring them to either side of the foot. Bring that left foot back to meet the right. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Release. Inhale, upper dog. Running back to down the facing dog. Gaze up between the hands as you walk the feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, flattening the spine. Exhaling, fold, squeeze the glutes. Inhale to standing. Exhaling in prayer. Dropping the hands. Inhale, right, raising the arms above the head, shoulders down, gaze between the hands. Exhale, forward fold, chest open, shoulders down, dropping the head. Inhale, flatten the spine. Exhale, stepping back into plank, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows in. Release. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to chest. Hold it there just for a moment. And place the foot between the hands. Now stay in this nice low lunge, keeping the hips nice and low and the back knee nice and straight. And bring the torso up and then bring the arms down. So there, it's like an aeroplane. And then exhale, you're going to twist the torso towards the right. Horizon lunge. So this is a lovely lunge, stretches out the top of the right thigh, breathe, inhale, back to center and bring the hands down to the mat, shift that foot slightly closer to the body and extend the front knee now, so we come into this run and stretch, now if you cannot reach the ground here's where you are going to be utilizing your props, so you either We'll use your blocks and place your hands on your blocks or your books and then bend that front knee, flatten the palms, bring that right foot back to meet the left, exhale chaturanga, inhale upward dog, exhale downward dog, inhale left leg up towards the sky, exhale knee to chest. Breathe. Place that foot between the hands. Keeping the hips nice and low. Your back leg nice and straight. Really engage the quadricep of this leg so that it stays nice and active, supporting your knee. Inhale, bring the torso up, arms up. And then bring in the arms down into a T. And rotate that torso to the left now. You see I lack stability on the side, so I'm wobbling a bit. Breathe. Focus. Inhale, bring the torso back to center. 
and drop the hands to the mat. Bring that back foot to slightly closer. Extend the front knee. Coming into this runner stretch on the left side. So feeling that nice stretch here through the back of the left leg. Flattening those palms as you bend that knee. Bring the left foot back to meet the right. Exhale, Chaturanga. Release, inhale. Of the dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to chest. Bring that foot between the hands. And coming to that nice low lunge. And this time you're going to drop your back knee. So bring your towel in if you do have knee issues. Drop that knee to the floor, release the toes. And try and bring those hips forward now. Engage the core. And again, we're wanting to feel that nice stretch through the flexors on the left leg. So flatten your hands and bring your right hand to the inside of the right foot and open your right foot up slightly. So I want an isometric contraction here. So what we're doing is we're pressing the knee into the upper arm of the right arm and we're pressing the upper arm of the right arm into the knee. So they're pressing against each other. They're activating the muscles. Your inner thigh here on your right leg is working. Breathe. Still stretching through that flexor on the left. Rolling the shoulders back. Very nice. Now what I want you to do is allow this right knee to fall out to the right, but I don't want you to roll with the ankle. I want the joints to remain stacked. So we come onto the outside of that right foot. If you can see any folds or wrinkles on the inside of your right ankle, it means you're rolling the ankle. I don't want that. I want that ankle to be safe and to be stabilized. So you're really opening up the hips here. Breathe. Inhale, bring that knee back up. Engage those left toes. Bring that left knee up off the ground. Bring that right foot back to leave the to meet the left. Exhale, chaturanga. Release. Inhale, up for dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Place that foot between the hands. Nice low lunge again. Towel if you need it. Release that knee down to the mat and release those toes. So bringing those hips forward. These lovely flexors are getting stretched out. Breathe. Bringing this left hand towards the inside of the left foot, walking that left foot out slightly towards the outside of your mat. Pressing that left knee in against the left arm and the left arm against the left knee. So we're activating those adductors, the inner thighs of that left leg. Breathe. And now, same thing, we allow that left knee to fall to the outside. Got a few mats in the way here. Just move them. So again, I don't want any rolling on these joints. So if you're seeing any wrinkles like that on the inside of your ankle, straighten that out, stack those joints, keep them safe. You should be feeling the stretch on the outside of your right glute. Breathe. So bring that knee back up, engage those right toes. Bring that right knee up off the ground. Left foot comes back to meet the, meet the right. Exhale, Chaturanga. Release. Inhale. Upper dog. 
Exhale, downward dog. Gaze up between the hands as you walk the feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, flattening the spine. Exhaling, fold. Squeeze those glutes. Inhale as you unfold up to standing. Exhaling in prayer. Very nice. Grab some water.